I want to thank Jenna for wearing her flats today. I feel so tall. This is Drive Time, and we are your hosts of Sports Talk Florida Live on AM 1040, the team in Tampa. Now, when we come in to go to work each day, if we come in to get ready for the show and we see the headline, hookers, strippers, booze, we know it's going to be a good day. It's not a good day if you're associated with Louisville basketball. Oh, gosh. Well, you know, and, and Louisville has such a storied basketball program under Rick Pitino, the state of Kentucky really all together. But it looks like, although he hasn't admitted to knowing any of this, he's denied it all. But the program, unfortunately, coming under a lot of scrutiny right now because of the fact that it appears that an escort service was luring a lot of these recruits to the university. And right now, Rick Pitino is calling on a former graduate assistant of his, Andre McGee, saying he needs to do the right thing and come clean about how much he knew about all of this. Now, if you're a major corporation, you don't want to show up at work and see 60 minutes in your parking lot. If you're connected with the sports world, you don't want to show up for work and see outside the lines. And outside the lines has been work in the Louisville case, and it looks like not an isolated incident, but about four years of these events going on in a players-only dorm. In fact, that players-only dorm is named after Patino's brother-in-law, Billy Minardi. Uh, he passed away in the terrorist attacks on 9-11. Uh, Tampa folks, if you've ever had the honor of playing at the old Memorial Golf Course, there's a huge statue of Billy Minardi right out in the middle of the course because he was a member there, so you probably know what it is. That's the Billy Minardi dorm where all of this allegedly took place. So I can't imagine that Rick Pitino would be condoning that going on in that dorm, but sometimes when you're a college basketball coach, it's not about what you know. It's about what you purposely don't want to know. And in a, or in, in a team like that, a school like that, these coaches that have been so successful, they have control over everything. And I've got to believe Tom Jurek, the athletic director over at Louisville, he's one of the best out there. And there's a reason why he's the second highest paid AD out there in the country. And so he's got a good idea of what's going on. And he also knows, too, to attract coaches like Rick Pitino, you got to be able to give them a certain amount of control. It's just so hard to believe, and I said the same thing about Deflategate with Bill Belichick, someone that is as detail-oriented as Rick Pitino, and most of these coaches are, that's why they're so successful. They oversee so many aspects of the players' day-to-day -day lives. How do you not know this is going on? And, and it's bad, too. You have this former mistress coming out with this book, and she also has her daughters on camera with her. Her daughters acted as escorts as well. It was literally, McGee would meet with her and say this player wanted to sleep with this woman, one of her daughters, and she pawned him off. Yeah, it, it's ugly. It's sordid. More details. It's outrageous. More details are definitely to come out. And, and you know, from a basketball and from an NCAA perspective, last few years the NCAA has started coming down on coaches for things they didn't know, citing the lack of institutional control. Joe Paterno is a prime example of it. College football, but still another case of having a, a storied program, athletic program, with a coach that is viewed in many ways as, as, as a demigod in the community, given so much control, but because of the fact that Paterno didn't have institutional control, you saw what happened there. Um, one of Patino's mentors, Jim Beheim, got hit hard for academic things he didn't know about. We just saw it happen to Larry Brown as well. Four years of this going on at Louisville? Rick Pitino may not survive. Well, also, too, and you've also got to look at North Carolina. There's a lot of this that's still coming out about these schools, but if you're going to come down on Syracuse, you're going to eventually come down on North Carolina, you've got to come down hard on Louisville as well. And I know that Tom Jurek has said that Rick Pitino, there's no plans for him to resign, but i got to wonder if the fallout from this is really, really, really bad. I don't know if they have much of a choice. But I do want to say this. Louisville, thanks. Hookers, booze, escorts, strippers, for me? That's a good two months of material, so I appreciate it.